Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am speaking directly to those women that are over 40 years old. If you've been following me here on my channel, you know that I strongly believe women should be fasting different than men. And each stage of our life actually requires some different variations. So on this video, I'm gonna go through a brand new variation that will help women over 40 use the principles of fasting to not only help her lose weight, not only get you thinking mentally clear again, not only give you amazing energy, but will not tank your sex hormones. So after 40, where our hormones are already going crazy, so we need some modifications to our fast. Okay, women over 40. Whew, we have a lot that we need to talk about. So let's start with this. I wanna kinda, I, I have this vision because when I hit 40, I felt like I was in the best shape of my life. And I was eating six meals a day, I loved breakfast. I was the person that carried my snacks around with me everywhere I went. I was eating really healthy. I thought that, that, that eating healthy food as often as you can equated to a healthy body. And what I learned is that as I moved into my 40s, that strategy around health no longer worked. And let me tell you why. At 40, what's happening is your ovaries are like, I'm done, I'm out. Like I have given you eggs month after month after month, and I'm gonna make a slow exit now. So as your ovaries start to wind down, it's not like it happens over the course of a month or even a year. It takes for most of us about 10, 15 years for our ovaries to start to undo this miraculous job they've been doing for so long. And so in that process, what is happening is they have to hand over the job of making stress hormones, specifically estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, have to hand that job over to your adrenal glands. Now, think about this for a moment. If you are a rushing woman, if you are type A stressed out, if you are an over-exerciser, if you're already not getting sleep, if stress is already at its max, and now you decide to take on fasting, which produces a cortisol reaction temporarily, you are likely to tank your estrogen, your progesterone, and your testosterone because your adrenals cannot handle the extra stress. So we've got to do this differently. So the first thing I want you to understand, and I know, you know I'm 51 and I still am in disbelief that you know, I'm, in the, I'm in the middle, I'm almost at the other end of menopause. It's like I still feel like a 25 year old in my brain and I'm in disbelief that I have to adapt my lifestyle for menopause. In my brain, I was like, well, menopause is what my mother went through. Um, not what I'm going through, but what I realize is that at 40, we have to change our lifestyle and fasting is a key part of changing that. So I wanna make sure you guys do it really effectively. Okay, so the first thing I want you to understand is your physiology. Know these hormones are, uh, the uh, ovaries are kicking out, but I also want you to realize that you're gonna be more susceptible to stress now than ever before. What you used to get away with at 35, you can't get away with at 45. You are gonna have more adverse reactions to stress than ever before. The second thing that I want to talk about before I go into the, what I consider one of the best variations for women over 40 is that it's really important that you know your hormones. And there's a couple of ways that you can, you can understand where your hormones are at. First is if you are perimenopausal and you still have a cycle, the minute day one hits, I want you tracking your cycle. So even if your cycle is every 60 days, every 90 days, I want you to track that cycle so that you know when your body's trying to make progesterone. Progesterone is our anti-anxiety hormone. It is what calms us. It is also what will allow the uterine lining to shed so we can have a cycle. And what I'm hearing from a lot of women as they start to fast in their 40s is they lose their cycle. But they're just losing progesterone. So you need to know when you're supposed to get progesterone. And it's usually around day 20 of your cycle. So make sure you're tracking your cycle on something like a Clue app. The second thing, and this is for 50, 60, 70 year old women that are watching this video, um, I highly recommend that all women get a hormone test. And my favorite is called the Dutch test. The Dutch test will allow you to see which hormones are in jeopardy. 
So if we get a Dutch test back and your, your toxic estrogen is really high, there's certain fasts I'm gonna recommend that you lean into to manage that toxic estrogen. You might need to do more autophagy fasting. If your progesterone levels are really low, then we need to modify your fasting schedule according to how low that progesterone is. So this is why it's something like a Dutch hormone test is so incredibly helpful. If you wanna know more about the Dutch test, just put Dutch test in the uh, comments and my team will send you a link to that. So first thing is know your physiology. Second is know your, your hormones and where your hormonal profile is. And then the third one is really the meat of this video and something you can step into immediately. I have a new variation for the post 40 year old and it is called a four two one variation. It is a weekly variation because most women as they move through their forties, our monthly cycle is so wackadoodle that we don't know how to time it to, a, to the fasting circle. So I wanna give you a weekly one. Four days a week, you're not gonna intermittent fast, if you thought I was gonna say that. You're going to do autophagy fasting. Autophagy fasting is 17 hours of fasting and you break your fast with fat. And you can, I did a ton of videos on this and you wanna make sure you keep your protein under 20 grams and your carbohydrates under 50 net carbs when you do eat. This style of fasting and eating is considered a detox, like a light detox. Toxins rear their ugly head as we move into uh, menopause. So we need to lean into more autophagy fasting. So in my post 40 year old variation, four days a week, you're gonna do autophagy fasting. Two days a week, you're gonna do a very minimal amount of fasting. You're gonna do 13 hours of fasting and you're gonna hormone build. So on these two days a week, you're trying to raise progesterone. So that the, the four days a week, you're trying to detoxify so that we can help with estrogen sensitivity, leptin sensitivity, many of the things I've taught here. Two days a week, we're gonna work on building progesterone and you do that by 13 hours of fasting and then hormone building. We do not count macros on this day. We look at things like uh, adding more of the squashes and the beans and the tropical fruits, citrus fruits, grass-fed beef is great, potatoes, sweet potatoes. These are progesterone building foods. I put a list of them in the menopause reset. So if you have a copy of the menopause reset, pull it out, look under the chapter that I say, Dear Progesterone, I'm sorry I took you for granted. It's my favorite chapter in the book. So if you don't have a copy of the Menopause Reset, it is out for pre-order right now. Just put Menopause Reset in the comments and we'll send you a link on how you can order it. So two days a week, we're going after progesterone, we're keeping our fast under 13 hours and we're leaning into hormone building foods. And then the last day, the last day, the four, two, one, so the one, you're gonna go do a 24 hour fast. Why is this important to the perimenopausal and postmenopausal woman is because we have to take exceptional care of our gut. We actually have bacteria in our gut that help us break estrogen down so that estrogen can get into our cells and can start to make, allow our cells to use it for energy and for functionality. So if you're having hot flashes, if your mucosal membranes are really dry, if you have brain fog, you're not sleeping well, these can all be signs that your estrogen is too low. So we've got to take amazing care of what we call our estrobolome, which is the bacteria that break estrogen down and the 24 hour fast does that really well. So let me summarize that for you. Four days a week autophagy fasting, two days a week of hormone building with 13 hours of fasting and one day a week of a 24 hour fast. And the meal I would put with that one is a ketobiotic meal where you're keeping carbs under 50 grams and you're leaning into as many veggies as possible. I, again, if you're new to these principles, go back and watch some of the videos I've done on women and fasting because we believe strongly, I'm trying to teach this to so many people that we need that fasting variation so that we don't get stuck with our results, we don't tank our sex hormones. And over 40, it's crazy, we have to do a lot of things different and a fasting lifestyle is absolutely one of them. If you love that video and you wanna dive into more, 
of the information I have on this channel, go to this video. So if we're eating the same way all the time, then we're gonna get stuck and we might actually gain weight. 